Now, my Buddhist friends, we I have shown you where the 999 sakyas were slaughtered. Then I showed you Charu, where the four sakyas, uh, what do you call it, fought, uh, uh, fought off and dispersed Viruddhika Raja's army. But they were, what do you call it, uh, banished from their uh, ho uh, town because of this. And they become four kings of four areas. And then I showed you uh, south of the chief city, that is Chatura Bhitti, I showed you Pipra Tappa court, where the father, King Sudhodana and uh, Buddha, the son, met and uh, the Buddha preached under a people tree, folks. Now, after this, let's continue in Zhang Zhang. Keep plodding behind Zhang Zhang. Keep plodding behind Zhang Zhang. Now he takes us north of this stupa, north of this stupa and south of the chief city. North of this stupa, he takes us to a spot where the Buddha was sitting cross-legged looking towards the east. The Buddha was sitting cross-legged and looking towards the east and Prajapati Gautami, his stepmother, or aunt, or whatever you, or maternal aunt, whatever you want to call her. She comes and puts a kasaya garment over his shoulder. Now this is very important for us Hindus also. Because we must remember our Buddhist past. Folks, in my childhood, whenever I, uh, of course for a child, Getting new clothes is a very lovely thing, very big thing. Pe uh, children love receiving new clothes. But when I would wear the new clothes, I was made to face the east. Well, when I would wear the new clothes, I was made to face the east. And that was what was the rule in my family. And that's what my parent, my father would do when he wore a new kurta or pajama, he would always face the east and wear. It seems this custom came from here. The Buddha was sitting, looking towards the east, when his mother came and draped the kasaya garment over his shoulder. Now what is a kasaya garment? See, the Buddhist, all the Buddhist words are so badly disfigured, so badly disfigured. Uh, that Indians treated it, it as an alien thing of uh, the Indians don't understand how it landed up in Bihar and thing. Basically, it's because of, you know, mispronounced, badly mispronounced words. The entire vo vocabulary is badly mispronounced, which is why Indians couldn't fail to identify with the Buddhist story and the Buddhist story failed to identify with India. See, these villages fail to identify with the Buddhist story because of the uh, mispronounced Buddhist words. Now, the, what is a kasaya garment? A kasaya garment, kasaya gamcha. Kasaya gamcha. Gam ka saya cha. Gamcha kasaya. That is, and you drape a gamcha on your shoulder. You drape a gamcha on your shoulder. Folks, it's a very useful piece of, you know, cloth. It's a very useful piece of cloth. It's a, like a small towel, which you drape it on your shoulder. All Biharis, Eastern UP, uh, people who wore dhoti, kurta, uh, it's not, uh, the, the gamcha is not used when you are wearing a, a kurta and pajama. No or shirts and pants is not used. Of course, rural people, they can. And <clears throat> in, in why was the gamcha so important? The kasaya garment, what well, you all call it kasaya, we call it, it is the gamcha. Why is it so important? See, in ancient times, there were no uh, tables and chairs and seats. People just <clears throat> sat, uh, on the, uh, sat on the ground. So before you sit on the ground, you take the gamcha and you dust the ground with it. Or you dust the ground and you lay the gamcha on the ground and you sit on it. 
See, the Buddha was sitting. I think he was sitting on the bare ground. So his mother came with a new gamcha, a kasaya garment, and put it. You see, with that, you dust the ground and then you lay, lay it on the ground and you sit. And then you. It, it is multi purpose. And then when you go for a bath, when you go for a bath, you first wash that garment and then you rinse it so that all the water is rinsed out and use it as a towel and use it as a towel to change your clothes so that is what the gamcha is used for the kasaya garment folks so it seems the buddha was sitting on the uh, uh, ground uh, just sitting on the mud itself so his mother came and he uh, put a kasaya garment a gamcha on his shoulder so folks i hope you found this video educative if you did so don't forget to follow like and subscribe to my page buddha exhumed and don't forget to tell your friends and relatives about this page and this or this channel and this uh, and f most important don't forget to uh, stay tuned for the next video because the next video is on what's uh, let's see the next video is on uh, the temple where the statue bent down and saluted the infant buddha folks thank you